Ask the Eight Ball is brought to you by Bebops, where chocolate shakes just above a dollar. Also, Lola's Fine Hot Sauce, now available at Lowe's stores everywhere. Hi, I'm Quinn, and I'm listening to my daddy and Cody. <laughs> I've never been arrested. Oh no, I don't. Do I've any. never been taken like Liam Neeson's daughter. So is that jinxing <laughs> myself? Or Are you trying to jinx yourself okay? right now? Are you trying to? I just don't break the law. Yeah. Okay. S- easy, Chris. That. Easy, Chris Hansen's number one fan. What's your name again, by the way? Marshall. Marshall. Eric. I should just know that. Did Eric you tell Walker. me that in the first place? Uh, I told you, Eric. Eric. What's Eric Marshall? People, so what is your name? People then? call me Eric. People call me Marshall. I call I call him DJ Dipshit. Can I call you Tiff the whole time? Yeah, Confuse yeah. hers and she's confusing me with her <laughs> eyes. Perfect. Are you ready to go? Guys? I'm ready to go. Three, two, one. Hey, uh, what's up, Cody? Not much, man. What's up with you? Oh, not a lot. What's uh, what's new? I don't know, man. Let's ask the eight wall. Welcome. Welcome back, guys. Season three finale. Here we go. Oh, man, it is the finale. It is the finale. Yeah. We're like, we got more seasons than Dave. <laughs> and better seasons than, than Dave season two. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, it's awful. Don't Anyways. S- don't spoil it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you to uh, Des Moines' best joke writer, Mike Gettler, for being I, on the show. Where the, where'd you get that from? That's what well, everybody says. Can, the best joke writer in Des Moines. Maybe if we're going quantity over quality, maybe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey. hey. I got a couple of friends like that with the ladies. They're yeah, like exactly. Over yeah. Yeah. Three threes equals a nine, right? I'm happily engaged. Well, <laughs> then you're good. To comedy? And or a fiance. To, and, and, and a woman. Real life, real life comedy woman. Comedy and a woman. Real life woman. Not yeah. an inflatable woman like me? No. Jesus. God, no. I would never. <laughs> so, Mike, uh, we, we watched- started. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, redo. Hey, redo. Start over. So I think I've seen you do a bunch of stand-up open mics. Yeah. I think his first time seeing you was at Dean Del Rey. Dean Del Rey, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I thought it was What'd you think? I thought it was awesome. Really? Okay. Yeah. On a scale of one to Mike Gettler, where, where would you put it? Uh, one to Mike Gettler. Mike Get. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll get the lure next time. That's yeah. fantastic. Uh, yeah. That was, uh, that was a fun show. It was uh, really cool to get him here into Teehees and Des Moines just in general. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I got to open for him. It was yeah, a lot of fun. A, I've been a Dean Delray fan for a long time, so, like, oh, we got to go see him. And I might have enjoyed your set more. Oh, easy with that. He was uh, he was fantastic. He was good. He, was I, he good. has the had challenge had of filling an hour, man. I just have to do oh, pretty good for 15 minutes, which makes it a lot easier. Oh, so. that's fair. So uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, we, uh it was two years last February, so okay. we're getting close to two and a half years with the uh, one year being a pandemic. Okay. So. And you're already known as Des Moines' best joke writer. So I don't think I am <laughs> actually so known. where did you get this intel from, Cody? Uh, as the our favorite Jake Pearson fan, Sid Jewwalker. So Sid I've also heard from... Okay. Uh, Why do you say his name like you're scared to say it wrong? <laughs> Sid Jewwalker. You, <laughs> you have to enunciate. Uh, yeah. I have the... So you're doing a hostage get her off. I'm trying to So you're doing a hostage tape right now, and ISIS is right there. This is, this is <laughs> perfect. Oh, shit. I don't think that's an accento. He's not Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've also heard from Dustin Spade and uh, Matthew Jacobson. Well, guess. Dustin Spade's not a real person. Justin's all right. Um, Justin, but, Dustin, whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're just name dropping up here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, Brad Fish. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh the fish dude. dude. Yeah. We call him Sticks, man. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> Nemo's his nickname. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Fair enough. Uh, so, we always, Cody tells me to guess usually. A lot of times I don't know because a lot of the comedians, I, I, like, I don't know them personally. I've just seen them. Yeah. I'm like, oh, cool. So, I was like, I'll look some, I'll look some shit up, see what, what's up with Mike Gettler. Nothing. Not a, <laughs> zil, <laughs> Nothing. Zil, no social media. I saw that you no have a LinkedIn. No news articles. No, yeah, there was a LinkedIn on you. I'm a Ooh. professional. Yeah, I but. Think, uh, I think what we're going to do during the break is I'm going to look up Iowa courts. Is there anything on Iowa courts? <laughs> yeah. No, no. So, I have uh, I no, I have uh, no social media presence whatsoever. So well, are you either in witness just, protection? I'm just really big on promoting myself, you know? Mm. Um, no, I just, uh, I deleted. I, I always tell people, I was like, oh, I deleted my Facebook during the election. And they're like, oh, 2016, I get it. I'm like, no, 2012. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> did not care for it. Don't like it. Don't really give a shit what you did today. If I cared, I'll ask. Um, um, but I don't know. I, I just don't like it. I didn't like what it was doing 
to my head too. Right. Do you use like Snapchat or anything like that? Nope. No Snapchat, nothing. You have, you don't have an Instagram? A, no. You have a LinkedIn Keep though. Going. I do have a LinkedIn. A job made me do that, and I was looking for a new job a couple months ago, so I had to update it. That OnlyFans. Uh, yes. I do have an OnlyFans. Yeah. Found one. Yeah. yeah. Well, we know he's big on that. Yeah. But that, uh, that's secure. That's you just know, feet pics only, though, right? That. Yeah. No, no, no feet stuff. I go full, 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 hard, <laughs> full <laughs> hardcore with it. Yeah, yeah. straight butthole shots only. <laughs> no, no. It's called Taint Watch. You're going to. Taint no. Watch? No. <laughs> I, uh, like, what's this weird ingrown hair under here for? Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> I was, uh, the other day, thought of a new porn character. Tell me what you guys think. John Bidet Ramsey. And it's just the OnlyFans of nothing but buttholes. <laughs> John Bidet. John Bidet that really? Is a bidet involved at all? Yeah. Because yeah, you're cleaning the buttholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. But so a bidet, bidet is involved. So you're recording your butthole being cleaned? Yeah. Well, you guys have sponsors for this damn thing. You could probably get some pretty cool bidet yeah. companies Did you just to see sponsor Bebops that. this week? Let John Bidet Ramsey take care of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. We're on to something. Was your hot sauce too spicy? John all, Bidet Ramsey. We all been John there. Onlyfans.com. Onlyfans.com. You guys have a mascot for this podcast now. John Bidet rims it. It's just a bidet. It's just a bidet. <laughs> we need uh, our, our graphic designer friends to make up the drawing of this guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, actually a fantastic character. I'm, I'm actually very Rimsy, stoked yeah. about this. I tweeted about the other day. Twitter is a thing that people use. Yeah, no, I got it. Oh, to okay. say stupid shit that nobody cares but about. But if you're going, if promise me this, if you yeah. ever are explaining Twitter to somebody else that doesn't have social media, yeah. just say, oh, yeah, you can follow like 13-year-old girls on there. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> just, <laughs> just do it like that, and we'll see who the fucking weirdo is. All right? <laughs> They'd sign up as you're talking to them. Yeah. <laughs> have a seat. Uh, actually, do it. I did find one thing about you on the internet. I screenshot it. One thing only. Hell yeah. Mike Gettler is a Des Moines resident who stands up and tells into jokes into microphones. They spelled that wrong, yep. obviously. Mike does comedy around Des Moines and has open for whoever goes after him at open goes mic nights. Goes in front of him at an open mic, I believe. That's just what it is. Goes after him at open mic nights. Oh, uh, yeah. Open, open for after. Yeah, yeah. That would make sense. When asked for a quote for <laughs> you this You can bio, switch that to Dean Del Rey now, though, baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when asked for a quote for his bio, Mike's parents said, please don't call this number again. Uh, New York Times is called Mike Stand Up. Well, they haven't called it anything. They probably don't know it even exists. Yes. <laughs> That's the only info on you on the internet. Yeah, I was a brand new open biker. I did the music f- or the uh, comedy festival, Beast Village, Beast Village here yeah. in Des Moines. And uh, they made me write a bio, so... That's that's it. I had to do another one for Teehees recently. I changed it up a little bit. Okay. I didn't see that one. I haven't seen that one, yeah. What the call? That's why I would even put it up. What they always ask me. Sid. People ask me for stuff all the time, but sometimes it doesn't get up. Yeah, I'll text fuck, uh, fuck Sid, Sid Jew Walker. Jew Walker on the break. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Sid Jew Walker. Yeah. Sure I, uh, no, I get in trouble on that one with the shows and stuff like that because everybody, I guess, everybody does everything over Facebook. And then people like forget that they have to text me to inform me like how long my set is, what the order is, <laughs> um, and I guess that's my fault. Do you have an email? Yeah, I have email. Okay, I'd like to keep that private though. <laughs> <laughs> is your MySpace still active? Uh, I did have one that's deleted though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So you're basically the Unabomber. No. I don't see why I'm the weird one in this. Everyone's like, oh, my God, social yeah. media is so terrible. Oh, this person's leaving living clean. It's like you guys being mad at me for not doing heroin. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, oh, Mike, you got to get on this heroin thing. It's I guess so we know we're cool. Not on a break. I mean, yeah, geez. We're not on that, that train. Yeah, um, follow us on uh, Facebook and LinkedIn and all that stuff. Mike, I'm from Worcester County. That's what we do up there. Yeah. <laughs> Fort Dodge. Lehigh, but Worcester County still. I don't know what any of that means. I wasn't born here. So, <laughs> oh. where, are you, where are you from? I, we're going to break, though, aren't we? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not yet. Oh, okay. We, we got, got like time. Five more minutes. Uh, I I was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. Okay. No shit. And then uh, lived here for a little bit. Grew up in California mostly, and then moved back here for high school. Why the fuck <laughs> would you live? Anywhere else and then come to Iowa. Uh, well, I was in a military family. Okay. And my family is originally from here. So I was not bad. Sure. I mean, I was I pretty really, cool, man. Much really live in California or Hawaii. Oh, uh, I know live in Hawaii. You say that. Yeah. Hawaii is amazing. Um, Hawaii is legit amazing. California is an aw- It's a very cool place. But uh, yeah, I, I take back when to live there. I don't want to live there. There's a lot of traffic. Yeah, you get a lot of, not everything, but you get a lot of city amenities here. When with you tell people you're, you're originally from Hawaii, has anyone said, do you know Dwayne? 
the bounty hunter Chapman? No, no. It's usually like, oh, you can't run for president then. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. They're like Puerto Rico now. You're, yeah. You're safe. <laughs> um, usually we start with this too, but throughout the show, okay. different segments we'll do. When we do go after the first commercial break, we'll do a little segment called The Blitz. Okay. It's where Cody will ask some rapid fire questions to you and then me. He'll compare answers. Awesome. We've got same questions. Qu- I got six questions. Yep, same same questions, questions for both of us. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, I decided this week to go a little deep with the questions because you seem like a very sensitive in your feelings kind of guy. Yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, you know <laughs> me. I believe it. And then we also do the uh, Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. Are Who's you Kyle like? McLean? A low life piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you do? No, and he's, what he's hasn't very, he he's done? very handsome, successful. Good friends. Nice what a guy. Start, just what a guy, total fuck. fucking low yeah, life. Just started a, a new job. Fuck him. Yeah. New job. Has nice bars and nice hair. <sighs> I've, heard he, I've heard he's got a giant penis. But uh, we nominate actual <laughs> low life pieces of shit for the Kyle McLean Award. So if you, that sounds like a fun think, one. Yeah. If you think of anyone throughout the show you want to nominate, if not, you can just pick the winner for the week. All I have, right. I have two nominees this and, week. And then we end the show with uh, asking the eight ball question. So okay. And that's on you. You got to think of a question and we'll see what the answer is. All but right. No pressure. I want to do want to mention too that you guys were late. Yes. <laughs> we were late. Well, have 100%. you met? If you've met him before, you know he's always late. Okay. I'm surprised he made your set for the to Dean Del Rey. I was show. early. To be fair, yeah. I brought all the equipment. Cody brought nothing. I brought all the material. That is true. All the information. I brought the guest. You did bring the guest. I didn't bring. Actually, him, I drove here myself, so it cost me gas too. <laughs> yeah. So. I brought his beer upstairs. Yeah. Well. Allegedly. I'm Woo. glad you're carrying the heavy things. Woo. Oh, we're off to a hot start. So, here, Mike, we've got well, a, everything's good. We're off to a hot start. We, <laughs> we've got me and Marshall uh, always compete in things. Yesterday or today, he said he th- he can beat me in a forty yard dash. Yeah, uh, easy. I'll put a thousand dollars down. Says he can't. Really? I'll nice. Put a, I'll put down a dollar up, and you give me a thousand to one odds. <laughs> no, I'm in. no. That's what That's I how heard. that works. I think I could beat both of you in a forty yard dash. Yeah, you look like you're in better you? shape than me. You look younger than him. How old are you? 38. I am. Yeah. I didn't know if it was a compliment or not, or if it was just like a real fact. <laughs> I'm, st- I'm 34. I've just hit that number. I'm where 34 as well. It's like people don't know, you know? Yeah, I, I win a lot of money, or not money, prizes at Adventureland. It's great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they, they always guess his weight at, two, at 242. Too, yeah. I, I suck it in, and I get up there, and I'm just like, let it all hang out. Let the out. dad bod go out. <sighs> 2010, here I come. 2010. 2010. Yeah, I averaged up. <laughs> So, Mike, being from Hawaii, can you surf? No. Really? I was born in Hawaii. Yeah. But you live in California. Yeah, I surfed right out of the womb, dude. Just, uh, <laughs> just living it. What was that like? Tell me about that experience. Uh, was it Tiff? What's on the phone? <laughs> Any good? She's, yeah, she, yeah, she, she can't even hear me. in the zone. Like, this is incredible. You, it's, it's insane. You can say whatever you want to her. For oh, my part. God. The funniest thing is when she goes, we go out to the restaurants, and she goes to the restroom. The entire table bets on how long it's going to take her before she comes back. Because she'll go there and just sit on her phone for 10 minutes. Yeah. She's in like a little it. time loop yeah. over there. It's yeah. insane. She is. She's, she's in. It's, it's like 24. It's dun, yeah. Dun, Are we taking, dun. Should we take a bet on what she's looking at? <laughs> I, don't oh, guessing, I don't gamble. I don't gamble either. Uh, sure. I know I, d- I do not surf. I skateboarded a lot uh, when I was growing up in California, but I quit when I moved back here. Okay. Because winter, yeah, like snow on the ground and yeah. stuff like that. Wasn't into it. Okay. So how did you get into, or how do you, what's your, do you like a a scheme or a, what's your process, I guess, for writing jokes? Ooh, um, it's kind of changed a lot. I was very structured at first. It was just write every idea down, then sit there and try to kind of figure out the beats of comedy. Because uh, when you first start out, it's kind of like a 50-50 between you and the audience. You do what you think is funny. And when they start telling you that you've figured something out, you try to replicate that and do more of that. So, um, but now I, uh, I, write, like, I write down all my ideas in a pad, but I usually think it out in my head more during the day and then riff more on stage now than I did. But I'll okay. still sit down and try to write out, like... Um, I'll still sit down and try to write a bit all the way out because I try to do it different ways because you never know what's going to pop, like what's going to spark an idea. Do you try to write every bit out in like a five-minute section or? Uh, The bit is what the bit is. Sometimes, like most of my jokes usually start as a one-liner and end up being like one to three minutes, one to some are longer. 
Like you're just out and think of a joke. Do you put it in your notes on your phone, or you just do you, just, or do you have a like a joke? Uh, a you no, know, I gotta put it, the original one in the notes because it's not a thing yet, and I've never done it. Right. I so a like memory where you just remember everything. <laughs> Oh, like this just says I'm German, so uh, if I really set my mind to something, I'll take the it'll take the entire world to stop me. Like that's <laughs> all that is. Okay. Then you and that'll that. either end up in another joke that help if it's funny, it help it grow, or it will just be a random thing that I try to keep in the bank, and you never know. How do you write your jokes, Cody? Uh, my process really is if I think of something funny, I try to write it down and then go from there. Really, just try to. You know, I try to make every segment at least three minutes if yeah. I can because I feel like a one minute is really too short. And But try to, you know, if I come up with an idea, like I'll listen to something or hear something, I'll just, oh, that's a funny idea, and I'll try to see if I can make a joke from there, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Like, do you work the bit in your head during sex, and then if like, the bit's over by, before you're done? Like, you know, it's too, joke's way too short. My bit, the bit, my sex is done before the bit starts. Yeah, so then at least you have a timeline going. Like, <laughs> oh, okay, this joke went All right, minute, so I got to have sex ten times to make... Yes. One one minute joke. Does so, a guy that wears uh, his own podcast shirt on the podcast get a lot of sex? <laughs> oh, yeah. like, you wouldn't believe how little he gets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he goes to Steel Panther shows, wears a Steel Panther shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like it. With that being said, uh, let's run to our fake sponsor, and we'll be right back. September is here, and that means it's time to sign up for a library card. Visit your local library and see why students of all ages have applied. The library's got a lot of books. I like the ones about history. The library offers additional resources, including high-speed computers with access to the web. The computers here make it really easy to do all my homework, so I can study, I don't know, photography, music. Advanced pyrotechnics, firearm techniques. Crowd control. Chesterfield County is proud to present an entire world of knowledge to its students. Apply for a library card today and explore it all in a safe, peaceful environment. I like it here. The cafeteria is really noisy. Maybe one day it will be quiet like this. Cody, get off your phone. We're doing a podcast. What are, hey, what's going on? Where, where are we? What's going on is a lack of respect. That's what's what's <laughs> this happening. Is a blatant lack of respect. Sorry, I was adding some notes. You hey. you, you were late. Now we got to yell at you about your phone. I'm gonna sound 90 years old on this thing. <laughs> it's crazy. Do you uh, want to get off your lawn too? Yeah. Cody, I just remembered that this week we're starting to do you uh, reading rap lyrics. <laughs> yes, I'm excited for this. Actually, it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be funny. I picked a, a classic 2000s hip hop banger for you. Who's the artist? The old dirty bastard. Okay. I said, no, who he is. Okay, Dirt McGirt. <laughs> I thought you were going to go with, who's the, didn't uh, someone just die? Uh, Biz Marquis. Biz Marquis, yeah. Did he really? Yeah. yeah. If he had social media, Mike. Well, no. Di- <laughs> diabetes, I think, took him out. So since you don't have well, social no, media. I found out through human interaction and conversation. How, you, what a disappointment. <laughs> <Do> <laughs> you, <laughs> well, and the morning register. <laughs> do you watch the news? Uh, I read a lot of news. Do I don't watch. It's just one more way that you can be subverted by messages, and I guess, in a weird way. Do you get the newspaper delivered to your house every day? Uh, Sundays, we get the New York Times delivered. Okay. Okay. Uh, they got the coupons in it, Cody. Coup- I do. Coupons? I do yeah. coupon. No, the key is my uh, fiance's parents save coupons for me. Perfect. Uh, and uh, occasionally, uh, really useful. We're Sam's Club members for free this year. I'm pretty <laughs> excited. <laughs> nice. uh, we've been stocking up on a little Lacroix. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, do has a lot of coupons in the paper? Is Bebops, and uh, we'll talk more about them later. And Lola. I could talk about them now if you want. Well, later. Okay. We got we got. Le- Leave the people wanting. More. Okay, yeah. got it. But big thanks to Coa Cantina for having us tonight, letting us take over their beautiful bar here. Uh, Des Moines' newest tequila bar. East Grand. 425 East Grand. Yeah. Des Moines' newest tequila bar. Come check it out. Yeah, it's fantastic. Got a pat- open patio, great tequila drinks. Yeah, they even have a... Uh, they have what did you call them, too. like childish Jaeger bombs? What did you call them, like order a Jaeger bomb? Really? Yeah, you ordered a Jaeger bomb, and I was like, you're still doing that, kiddo? <laughs> like, kiddo, yeah. he called me kiddo. Yeah, grow up, Cody. <laughs> hey. No, that's cool. I'm actually taking to slamming a couple Kool Aids later today. I'm pretty pumped, <laughs> pretty Kool-Aid jacked. Jammers. Looking to get a sugar rush at about <laughs> 10 p. You know. Oh, okay, gotta okay. be. Hey, we gotta hurry up this podcast. Though. We gotta be home before the street lights come on. Well, it's getting late. Was that not a thing for everybody else? 
No. You had to be home before the street light. When the street lights came on, you had to get home. I uh-huh. just did whatever I was told in the moment. There was no actual like curfew. It was just whatever they were feeling that day. It's yeah. a lot like an eight ball. Someone <laughs> says. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've never been arrested, Cody, so I follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I say be home this time. I was home at that time. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Is it time for the blitz? It is time for the blitz. Hot, hot, hike. It's, it's a blitz. It's, it's a blitz. It's, it's a blitz. Yeah, it's a blitz. Let's go. So Let's I got go. six questions, Mike. I'm going to ask you. I'm going right. to ask Marshall, and we'll compare six? answers. Wait, is it six total or six for each of us? Six for each of you. Okay. He's going to ask you all six, then he'll ask me. Yep. One sec. Yeah, you got to uh, moisten you gotta the, the whistle. Palette. Wet the whistle. That's Do a, it. Do I need to Google one. anything? Do you have... Do you even have a smartphone? Or you have I got Google. <laughs> I got a smartphone. It's, <laughs> it's full of fun. All right. Question one. Would you rather know when you die or how you die? When. If you could have unlimited amount of, of one thing, not money or power, what would it be? One thing, not money or power. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to do this fast, right? Yeah. R- rapid uh, fire. Steak. Steak? Okay. I want a w- lifetime supply of <laughs> perfect ribeyes, baby. S- okay. That's what it How's is. How's it cooked? Well, the prices are super high right now to cook. It, I'll cook it. I no, like, how do you want to cook? Rare, medium, medium rare? rare? Perfect. All yeah, right. with a good charred sear on the outside, so they better be thick cut, baby. <laughs> as someone that lived off a of steak for six months as a kid, it, you can get old. It can get old, but... Yeah, but that's a weird complaint for someone that had to live off <laughs> yeah, steak. Oh, uh, poor Cody. Yeah, I've been doing breakfast, tuna. lunch, and dinner. First world problems, Cody. Uh, what is scarier, a snake that flies or a spider that can breathe underwater? Ooh, a uh, snake that flies. You wouldn't like that. Uh... Spider, I, I think the fear of spiders, unless you actually have it, is a little overrated. They're pretty easy to crush. Snakes are feisty little things. So tactically, I got to go with snakes. Okay. Okay. Did you want explanations? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. You can get explanations. Uh, what is something that people misunderstand about you? Well, uh, my uh, lack of social media. <laughs> I, I just I feel like I'm the smartest fucking person in the room, but people are always like, "Are you sure?" Very, very Independent true. Independent fact checkers. Question five: If you could have a billboard with anything on it, what would be on it, and where? I would just do more of anti-abortion billboards all over here. <laughs> just all over every billboard would just be like fingernails after 14 days. Uh, <laughs> every single one of them. Just because I think <laughs> that'd be fun. Yeah. Okay. Right. That was uh, that. Well, that's a joke for me. But like that was one of the first things I remember about moving to Iowa was, was one of those bill- billboards. Oh, I think I heard this. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, think I remember this joke. Yeah, if, yeah. That's well, this kind of le- leads into my next joke. I, my question, I guess. What is the best joke you've ever told? Best joke I have, uh, I feel, is about uh, my desire to have twin boys and why I want to do that. Okay, I think I remember. I don't remember the punchline, but I remember that joke. You could feel free to pay and see me do comedy <laughs> sometime if you'd or like you can, to. Hey. Come if to you'd Tee-hees. like to actually <laughs> hear the punchlines of these jokes, <laughs> come to Teehees on Thursdays for a mic and watch them for free. Not <laughs> those jokes, though. Whatever <laughs> shit I concocted this week. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's been the podcast. Uh, that's that's the been the podcast, guys. <laughs> Thanks podcast. for listening. <laughs> 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 that's been the Blitz. Marshall, your How turn. did I do? Oh, we'll, you do we'll it find after. Out. Yeah, after we'll find out. Okay. You ready? Yeah, those are tough answers to beat, man. Would you rather know when you die or how you die? Uh, when? Okay. No. If you could have unlimited amount of one thing, not money or power, what would it be? Uh, well, based on how this podcast gone already, probably Tiff's full attention. <laughs> That's not yeah. uh, okay. Real things, not imaginary oh, things. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go with uh tuna. Tiff, t- you said tuna earlier. Tiff wants unlimited battery life on her phone. I assume. Yes. Yes. <laughs> What's scarier? Tuna fillets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's scarier, a snake that flies <laughs> or a spider that can breathe underwater? Probably the spider underwater. Like a snake that flies, I mean, you still see it coming at you. When you're underwater, you're not seeing shit. I, okay. I don't know. Do you, do you, I, do you, I will do you river. Swim? <laughs> yeah, do you swim with your eyes open? What is? I don't swim with my eyes open. <laughs> what? What is something that is misunderstood about you? 
why I'm friends with you. I knew that was coming. Yeah. I knew that was going to be the answer. And why why I don't capture Tiff's attention. <laughs> well, that's yeah. not misunderstood. That's yeah, like, so now we're we got a theme going. If you could have a billboard with anything on it, what would it be and where? It would be an uh, advertisement of this podcast, but it would be a picture of me and you, and you're wearing the podcast T-shirt. <laughs> hey, that's fair. I, I should have said something like, I'd like to promote my podcast, <laughs> too, when we get <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> What's I should have done that. <laughs> I fucked up. Yeah. So I don't know the abortion. But I still gonna, want the. I still want the point. The abortion's <laughs> gonna be tough to beat. So. <laughs> it's gonna be what is the best joke you've ever told? Uh, at your roast, when I said I'm not saying Cody's racist, but he definitely separates his whites from his darks <laughs> while doing laundry. That was a good laundry. joke. That was yeah. a really good joke. And All right. Just and but then as he's doing, he says whites first. And throws <laughs> them in. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Let's compare answers. Would you rather know when you die or how you die? You said when. You said how, right? No, you said when. No, I said oh, you when. said when. Okay. How you're dying, he gives a shit. Yeah, exactly. When you die is the When answer. is more important. Yes. And, and you can actually I mean, maybe you know, narrow down. Well, yeah, I mean, if they tell you, like, you're going to die in a skydiving accident, you're like, all right, well, I'm not going skydiving. Yeah. yeah problem solved. But, uh, yeah. But if you, yeah. It's when. You're like, all right, Tuesday. Well, I know I'm going to do doing Monday. Fucking like robbing a bank. Yeah. If you could uh, have unlimited anything, uh, not money or power, what would it be? Mike said steak. You said tuna. Steak's way better than tuna. So. Well, I just said tuna because you said you grew up on steak only, so I thought you might be tired of it. I mean, don't eat as much as I used to, but yeah, steak's a much better answer than tuna. Tuna's, first of all, tuna flavors are Thank delicious. You. Specifically ribeye, too, which is a beautiful <laughs> ribeye's, cut. Ribeye's my favorite. It's a fun one. I'm a New York strip Well marbled. Strip's New York good. strip's you not bad, but ribeye's my favorite. I like New York the fat up there. What's scarier, a snake that flies or a spider? Spider underwater. Like you, you can be in the you know lake, a pond, a river, and you're not gonna see that spider coming. That thing's gonna. Oh. Yeah. I mean, shit, last time. Yeah, I was but what's the spider gonna do? There's like two spiders that can do something. What if it's the one that can't? Do you know, last time when <coughs> when we were in Minnesota a couple weeks ago. Do you know we were in the lake and I got bit by a fish? Now imagine if I got bit by a spider. Yeah. No, imagine if you get bit by you get bit by spiders all the time. You don't even notice till you get a red bump three weeks later. A snake, you're gonna know, dude. First of all, I'm short enough. Any snake that's Have flying is gonna fly Harry out of my Potter, head. Have you seen Harry Potter, Nagini, Anaconda? Love Do Harry I need Potter. to <laughs> imagine an eight foot anaconda? And that's we've probably had, small. We've had eight foot anacondas you. on us. We go to say those are, those are yellow, flying those are at yellow you to attack, <laughs> No, no, they're, they're they're friendly animals. Yeah, they're not flying. They're just we're like not, flying around like birds. Yeah, we're not mice. <laughs> like robins in the trees. All right, so it's be mice. To an anaconda, I saw. I saw that snake eat Jello. It's one one right now. One one one. Okay. What is something misunderstood about you? Uh, Mike wins. Why is that social media? Yeah, I mean, clearly. If you could have a billboard, Mike wins again. That the, a yeah, great the billboard. Answer. That's a. T- that, I mean, that's you can't beat that answer. That's a great answer. Thank you. That's a great answer. And the best joke you ever told? Do you just want me to give this one to Mike, or just? Uh, no, no. Do I want you to be honest? All right, your joke was pretty funny. That was a pretty Thank funny you. joke. He didn't finish his. So, you're, so Mike wins three, two, one. That's I fine. finished mine a long time ago. Oh, shit. but you just don't know the answer. Yeah, and actually, you should. If I was that memorable when he saw me, but hey, right. I remember that joke. I don't remember the punchline really, but I'll oh. tell you guys after. Well, I was too too hard laughing from your previous joke. <laughs> you, that's one of the. <laughs> I'm blushing. I know you can't see. That's one of the things that when I started doing open mics, I wanted to do a new five every week, but that, but instead I took a. See, I'm classing. He's like, they're not going to remember what your punchline was. No, your they, was. yeah. And you can't do that when you first start out because you got to find out what the hell makes you funny. Yeah. So, and sometimes that means we're actually work. If you think it, if an idea gets nothing, but you are just certain that it's funny, you should keep trying it because it might just be you got to translate it better to other people. Okay. Like, I had jokes, like the joke I told that was one of my best. I And I have two jokes that are one of the earliest ideas I came up with. And I just knew there was something funny about it, but I couldn't translate it yet. And now they're two of the strongest jokes on my set because I figured out how to communicate it to people. Gotcha. Share what was funny about it with me to them. So. Okay. So tell us about your podcast. Don't my you podcast? To- <laughs> I'm so glad you guys asked me. And <laughs> I didn't bring it up. Uh, I do a, a podcast about the, uh, the show 24... Um, <laughs> With Keith or Sutherland? You're damn right. <laughs> uh, we call him Daddy. Uh, <laughs> How'd you uh, get started? We were uh, we were 
we had a, a Zoom like writers chat when uh, there was quarantine and everything was shut down, so that we could at least come up with jokes still. And uh, we just one night we had a bunch of questions like, could Jack Bauer poop uh, during a <laughs> season of Twenty Four? Which then became like segment ideas for what became our podcast, which is the last Twenty Four podcast. Um, and we just break down an episode of Twenty Four each time, and we are uh, pretty. Pretty deep into season two right now. So okay, okay. how many seasons so were there? Of, uh, there was like five hundred seasons of Twenty Four. Uh, now, no, there's eight legitimately uh, and a movie. Uh, I do. I would love to. There was a Japanese Twenty Four too. I think that oh, there was a Japanese Twenty Four. Yeah, that would probably be pretty fun to break down. <laughs> Absolutely, um, it would be, especially in today's climate. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I never watched Twenty Four. It's a good. It's like a good show. I never watched. I it feel though. like I've let you down by saying that. No, but perfect I'm combination of uh, like all those bad, all the stuff that you love that's bad about like network TV and a legit good show too. Uh, so it's like right in that fun spot where you can make fun of it while respecting it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Each season is one day in his one life. One day. Right? One day. Each season. So it's 24 episodes each season. That's why it's called 24. Yep. Okay. And he's a CIA agent or something like that, right? CTU, counterterrorism unit. I'm sort of an expert on this. (laughs) 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 All right, so I like spoilers, so tell me how it ends. Uh, Wait, every episode of our podcast ends with Wes Kozad, who has never watched 24, doing a segment called Fake Spoilers with Wes Kozad. (laughs) Okay. Nice. So uh, where he Mm. just sometimes does real guesses and then sometimes just makes stupid shit up. So. (laughs) I seen Wes Kozad on Facebook. He's a funny guy, but I've never. I don't know if I've ever seen him do stand up. Facebook is a he's thing. What where he's, people he actually with has been uh, actively doing comedy longer than just about anybody else in Des Moines. Really? Honestly, yeah. Okay. Does, Cody, he, does he go to a lot of open mics then? Uh, yeah, good I amount. I don't remember. Cody, do you watch Twenty Four? I know I n- I've watched maybe twenty four minutes of it, but okay. Spoiler alert for the episode that you watched. Fake one. Go. Boom. Uh, Jack Bauer was in a gunfight. He was nope. behind a crate in in a uh, like an air like shelter. That's like half the episodes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm guessing you're right yeah, there. You're, right? you're yeah. doing pretty good. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but who wins in a fight though? Him or MacGyver? Ooh, MacGyver. No, Jack Bauer. Yeah, MacGyver's not really a fighter. He might rig some shit might, up though. If you watch the new series, MacGyver, that no, just ended? I can't get past Richard. what. They, had, they did a remake. Richard, of MacGyver. You watch Richard the new Anderson MacGyver? I didn't watch the original one. I, mean, I, did, I, mean, I might have as a kid. I might have as a kid. Oh, but the original one was the best. But you watched the new one? Yeah. You're like, sorry, honey. It's Wednesday night. Me and the dog <laughs> got to watch, watch it. Well, when I say honey, I'm talking to this yeah. nobody. Your dog. <laughs> that was before my dog even. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you just watch all the awful shows on CBS? I, I liked it. Plus, Tristan really? Mays You're is like gorgeous. You're like my dad. Tristan Mays is gorgeous. Do you? You're, Who is that? You're funny. So the I, I, main, uh, can you tell me? Do you think Big Bang Theory is a funny show? I get why the ma- like why it's a thing for the masses, but I'm not out to do shit for the lowest common denominator. You know what I mean? Right. So Cody's not your niche audience. You, I gotta explain stuff to him once in a while. But <laughs> How would he, Cody, Cody starts laughing at my jokes when he sees everybody else doing it. That's yeah, why he needs a laugh track. <laughs> oh, Big Bang, you know? <laughs> I get it. No, there's definitely, like, I'm sure there's... The crazy thing about Big Bang Theory is there has probably been insanely good comedy writers that have gone through there. Mm-hmm. And if it's... That's the hard thing about making fun of stuff just because it's popular is it has to be popular for a reason. Right. But it might not be... They're not pushing any boundaries, I would say. They're not going to change anything, you yeah. know? right. Cody used to get shit faced and compare everyone to Sheldon Cooper. And just, what? No, just you. Well, you, no, you compared Riley to Sheldon Cooper once too, I believe. You oh. called me and Riley each Sheldon Cooper because you're. I don't know if that was a compliment or not. He just said you, you're Sheldon Cooper. Sheldon Cooper will argue anything, and and no matter what, he has to win. And he'll like he'll spin it around the stupidest way possible just so he can win, even though it makes no sense to his original point. But yeah. did he, but did he win? In his head. Huh. And then yeah, everybody felt bad for him, like, whatever, we're tired of arguing with you. Yeah, do I don't know. Do. I'm used to being right. I don't get this. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're the minority here, Cody. I feel like I'm too, like, comfortable sometimes. <laughs> Are you? Gotta, do this I need is a to very be, intense podcast. Yeah, do I need to be like... Well, we, we should have sat on the couch. Do you want us to slouch? No, you guys sit on the couch and I lay across your lap. <laughs> yeah. So we just pod like that. And then yeah. Tiffany takes pictures like a weirdo. <laughs> Puts them up on her Snapchat <laughs> chatters. 
Insta I, stories. I just looked over and she wasn't on her phone. Just, did her battery die? Well, yeah. Well, because I sent her the link to my OnlyFans of uh, John, <laughs> John Bidet Ramsey. John uh, Bidet yeah. Ramsey. Yeah. Should we Rimsy. tell people downstairs Rimsy. to keep it down? I yeah. just feel like they're stealing my moment. Yeah, you guys are in a bar. Calm down. Yeah. Uh, speaking of where we're at and sponsors and stuff, Bebops. You a fan? Huge fan. What's your go-to? I got a theory about this. Okay. Uh, I think ratios are super important. So I also grew up in California, so Bebops was my like in and out replacement when I moved back here. Right, right. In and out, I think the perfect ratio of burger is a double double. Mm-hmm. That means two of the burger patties. Yeah. Here, I think the single is the perfectly portioned burger. At Be- so I would rather get two singles than one double. One double. Okay. I okay. just think it's the perfect mm-hmm. ratio of uh, vegetables and sauce to burger. Okay. Because uh, that charboil adds a lot of flavor to it, too. It's a beautiful thing. That is true. What are vegetables? <sighs> They're what you uh, don't eat, Cody. Okay. I'm not a vegetable. That's man. why you're fucking eight feet, eight feet short, dude. Eight That's feet uh, short. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Mike, remember who invited you on this show? Let's be nice to me. I'm here now. <laughs> well, yeah. You've booked so many people twice, I hear, that uh, I'm just now getting my first one. <laughs> that you can take her a little ribbon. That's fair. Um, have you tried the chicken sandwich at Bebop's? Uh, I have not. So, uh, have yeah. you tried, have you the, tried bur- the fish sandwich? They talk about uh, chicken sandwich wars on news stuff more than they talk about the actual <laughs> wars America <laughs> involved in, I find that interesting. Back to Afghanistan in a minute. Yeah. But, but first off. about Popeyes. Chick-fil-A <laughs> not open on Sundays. Yeah. yeah. But, I uh, have not. Bebop's uh, chicken sandwich. Uh, the burger is obviously top I'm always notch. getting that single burger yeah, so the it's tough to branch notch. out. But the uh, chicken sandwich thought. fantastic. They also have uh, chocolate shakes there for just above a dollar. And if you want some Lola's, you can get free packets of the original sauce. Can you really? Yeah. yeah go there and say, can I get some Lola's up. sauce? And they'll give you some free no, packets. No. Yeah, and Lola's, uh, are you a hot sauce guy? I like Lola's. I'm a big fan of Lola's. I remember when they were just a little thing at the farmer's market. Yep. 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 The, uh, but one time when I was selling advertising, I called and he said, don't call me again. And so <laughs> I still did your hot sauce all the time, though. <laughs> <laughs> so they... Uh, just did a sponsorship with. Do the I need to take that again, or do you have to cut that? No, no that's perfect. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. They just uh, made a deal with Lowe's. They were in the North Carolina headquarters. Today. Lowe's. Yeah. Lowe's. Lo- Lowe's, Lowe's is Lowe's, in every uh, Lowe's store in the country. Really? Every Lowe's in the country now. Or it might even be worldwide. I don't know, but um, are those Lowe's yeah. worldwide. I don't are know. Are they in Canada? Lowe's worldwide. <laughs> you guess they like World Star, don't you? Yeah. 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 Or Prestige it's worldwide. Not, it's, I was saying, it's not like Prestige worldwide, yeah. but that's <laughs> legit. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. So uh, if you don't want to go to the store and buy it, you can always go online, lolasfinehotsauce.com. Use promo code SD8Ball, 10% off your purchase. Uh, and also, big thanks to Koa Cantina for having us. Tonight. Yeah. If they could keep their guests a little more quiet. No, I'm kidding. No, nah, everyone's has a good time at this place. Uh, fantastic night spot, fantastic happy hour spot. Got a great patio, patio with this yeah. nice weather we've been having. We have the best DJs in town on the weekends, too. Even hey. if you, if, even if the people you're waiting for are late and you got to sit <laughs> here by yourself, they'll have a nice hey. conversation with you at the bar. And stuff. <laughs> Did I not text you? It's actually you? really nice. <laughs> Did I not text you and say, hey, we're running about 10 minutes late? Yeah, when you get a warning while you're already halfway here because you're a responsible person, they'll still talk <laughs> to you and treat you with a lot of respect. Back here at the Coa Cantina. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Here's some more words from our sponsors. We'll be right back. Where's the best place in Des Moines to get a burger, fries, and a chocolate shake? Viva! Big tasty burgers, hot crispy fries, and great chocolate shakes. So why do you come to Viva? The burgers are fresh and fast, and it tastes great. I like the pork fritters and chicken sandwiches. Where's the best place in Des Moines to get a burger, fries, and a chocolate shake? There's only one place we go. Viva! Bebop's better than good. Lola's Fine Hot Sauce, a generational family recipe using the world's hottest peppers for great flavor. They're vegan, non-GMO project verified, kosher, and all natural. Find them online at lolasfinehotsauce.com. Use promo code ASTA8BALL for 10% off your purchase. Thank you to our sponsors. Hey, I wasn't ready yet. Oh, well, I don't care. I don't need you to host this show. I'd actually like to take a minute to thank the sponsors, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just want to tell you real quick. When I was getting drinks downstairs, Cody, Shanda said, I didn't actually hear Cody when he was talking, but that's because he had to speak up to me. Well, I'd like to go up on her, too. Yeah. Well, shout out to Shanda. Yeah. 
Okay, now you can go into the sponsors. I love my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you soon, honey. <laughs> I was going to say I love Tiff, but she won't hear it. Yeah, she's in her phone already. She's, so. watching, she's watching a dog video. <laughs> Thank you to uh, Coa Cantina, 425 East Grand. Just come check it out. Great yeah. tequila spot. Great uh, party spot. Man, they're bringing Brett, Brett, DJ Brett B on the weekends to uh, DJ, too. So that's yeah, fantastic. He does all, all vinyl records on yeah. Sundays. All vinyl. The best DJ in Des Moines. Probably yeah. in Iowa. I have vinyl. Do you I really? vinyl records. Yeah. I got some in my garage, and I'm... Don't know, do my dad that. had some. I don't know if he still does, but I remember growing up as a kid. I'm like, what the fuck are these things? How do these work? Just scratching the shit out of it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably was. Grandpa's like, fuck you, man. <laughs> uh, also, thanks to Bebop's, uh, home of the number one. I'd like to thank Bebop's, too. Uh, for the perfect meat to vegetable to bun ratio. Thanks, Lola's, for that perfect uh, spice to flavor ratio. Nice. I was wondering where you're going after spice. That was a good. That was good. That's, that's was my good. comedy. That's my crowd work right there. Nice. You worked the crowd well <laughs> to our one woman audience. When it's empty. Yeah. yeah it's fu- it's great. She, even you worked it so well, she got up and walked <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, do you do crowd work very often? Uh, I. It's definitely a path I will go down. Audience are generally pretty good. Most people don't really yeah. say shit to you much. They kind of let you do your thing. Um, but yeah, that's a route I would like, if I had more time to play with, I would play with crowd work more, but when I've got 15 minutes, I might as well structure it, hit my time and be done. Yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, I was like a good crowd roasting. Now where all, where all have you done shows at Des Moines, Omaha, Chicago? No, mostly just here, no social media. And I, I don't, I haven't like traveled much. Okay. I did an open mic down in Kansas city one time. That was pretty cool. How'd that go? Went really well. It was when I tested my first five minutes out before my first show. I okay. tried to do it in front of people that had never seen it before. Nice. That yeah. went okay. So it's got to be hard to do the same material to the same crowd every night. I mean, that's what I can, my, my biggest concern was. But I, like I said, I've seen Mike a couple of different times. And I don't remember the punchline as all his jokes. A lot of people do remember. I don't <clears throat> repeat a lot, um, but it just depends. You do whatever the joke needs. If I rework something, I'll do it again. Okay, so I know talking to Matthew Jacobson, he he's got a like a process. Like he'll try jokes three, four, five times, and then if they don't work, he'll get rid of them and then try. Yeah, or go back to it later yeah. or rework it. Yeah, well, he does a lot of long form bits too. So he'll he has a bit that's like ten, fifteen minutes, and he had to try the different five minutes at different open mic nights and cut it and shave it, and move it around. So I try to write as much as I can about a subject to the first point, and then I'll cut it down. But my goal is to hopefully just get it to bam, bam, bam. Although I do like slow setups with like one big punchline at the end, but the punchline's got to be really good for yeah. those. So. What would you say your particular form of comedy is? Are you a one-liner, an insult comic, a storyteller? Stand-up? Uh, yeah, I, I, I like to sit once in a while. So I... Uh, I don't know if I have. I'm still down and ready to explore everything. I would just say it's like it's more of like a chemistry of like sixty percent dark, forty percent goofy, like okay. or seventy thirty. I don't know. Like okay. it's more of a chemistry than exactly a one. If I got a one liner, I love. I'll do a one liner. If yeah. I got a story, I love. I'll do a story. Okay. I don't. Just uh, whatever works. Yeah, whatever's working for me and whatever's right. funny to the people. Although occasionally you throw one in there for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say your favorite? I am a self-deprecating dark humor kind of guy. I just like dark humor. Dark humor. And roast. I think dark humor. Dark humor and roast. Yeah. That's Tiff, what do you what do you think? What's your go-to sense of humor? Or like, if you tell a joke. Okay. That was a good moment answer. with Tiff. That was a good answer. This is, that'll be a new segment on the show every week. A moment with One Tiff. One moment we'll with Tiff. Question and we just look at her. Hey, she's, she's paying attention. Oh, right. That's true. Uh, let's roll in. Speaking of Tiff, uh, let's roll into the Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. All right. You didn't answer our question. All right. Kidding. Let's go. In a world of Kyle's, only one stands out. It's the Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. Um, Mike. Do you have uh, have a little, like, piece of shit of the week? I have two nominees. He's, like, raring and ready to go. You're asking me if I want to go. It's your guys' fucking segment. I was asking you if you wanted to be involved in the segment. He didn't know if you had any nominees. Uh, I would like to nominate Jeff Bezos, (laughs) Elon Musk, 
and Richard Bronson. Because I know your boy Jeff Epstein went down with the island, and that's why you're all trying to get off planet. I know <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> I have to go with them. Okay. Also, it took three days, Prime. took three days for my <laughs> box to get there this week. Yeah, I paid for this to get overnighted. Cody, how many nominees you got? I got one. Okay, I got two. I'll read my first one. Uh, I'm going to pronounce the name wrong because I didn't write it down and practice it in advance like Cody. Uh, Kyogo <laughs> Oyamata. <laughs> what kind of laugh was that? <laughs> That's a real one. <laughs> Kyogo Oyamata. Uh, he's one of the composers for the opening ceremonies of the Olympic Games. Uh, he's being pulled from the ceremony after a story came to light about him bragging about making a special needs kid jerk off in front of others and eat his own shit. Uh, the story Christ. happened in the 90s. The sto- this happened in the 90s, but he still would talk to people about it. And so the Olympics, the Olympics pulled him out. Okay. It's on TMZ, cool. man. All right. Oh, that, that's a he, great story. He made source. a special need kids jerk off in front of people and eat his own shit. Well, and we're four days from the Olympics, and they're like, we could cancel this, guys. We could that's, cancel the whole thing. So that's what I was waiting to say. I was, I was going to nominate the, uh, the whoever it is. I can't remember the name, but they, they, cause they're talking about today they could ana- they could uh, cancel the Olympics as early as next Tuesday. Don't they start Thursday or Friday? Friday. Whatever. As early as, as early as today, maybe, I guess. But but who knows Japanese time? Which yeah. I've lived there, too. That was fun. That's true. Have yeah. you really? They are. Yep. I'm They're like 12 hours cool. behind us. You guys should talk to me more. I'm a pretty cool guy. <laughs> I'm a pretty cool guy. My Hold nominee is whatever judge told Olivia Breen, the Paralympic long jumper, that her her uniform was too revealing. She jumped, She finished her long, long jump at the competition last week, and as she got out of the pit, the judge said, can I speak with you? I think your briefs are too revealing. You should consider buying shorts. Okay, here's where I went wrong. Is I thought you were talking about an actual like court of law judge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like what <laughs> happened that she had to go to court? That's what I was thinking what? at first. Not the dude that's like, I give it an eight, but I give the shorts a three. Like, <laughs> I didn't and, know it was that guy. And Cody, I got a question. You might not know the answer. You said Paralympics? Yeah. So is that like handicap? Yes. So what's her handicap that makes her not? So she has she cere- the cerebral, cerebral palsy. Okay. And she's uh, she still could do long jump. That's yeah, she could do long jump. Impressive. Yep. So she's wore she's had a nine year career, and she's wore basically the same uniform every event. And she jumped, and the judge told her that's too revealing. Aren't the uniforms usually assigned? Yeah, maybe her ass just got fatter. Still, my football uh, uniform in sophomore year was pretty scandalous. Uh, I got a lot of attention for that. Um, The last nominee, Lorraine Graves of Tulsa, Oklahoma. She was wanted by the police for uh, over six months on an accessory to murder charge. The Tulsa PD had posted on their Facebook page. You probably didn't see that. Uh, that they're looking for her and offering a reward. She saw it and commented and asked how much the reward was for. The police <laughs> didn't. The police did. I like did. myself <laughs> the police in <laughs> and invested in my local community. <laughs> the police did track her IP address and showed up at her door the next morning and arrested her. Hey, good for her. Hey, <laughs> trying to work. Wait, hard. She caught she's, herself. How's she the piece of shit? She's trying to work smarter, not harder. Well, she's no, because she hero. didn't get the reward. She just got she, arrested. Yeah, but she's trying. She's trying your life motto. Work smarter, not harder. Wow. No, I mean, she's not wrong with the thought process. It's just. She's yeah. ni- she's an idiot of the week. Like she should have used the library. At, or, uh, she like, the library. She's like the guys that rob the gas station and come back to fill for, for gas. You ever been a hero and had got it completely wrong at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> there was a dude in New York. <laughs> <laughs> who uh, he he was uh, he looks he looks across the street and he sees his neighbor's house on fire. So he like runs across. He kicked the door down and saved their dog uh, until the police showed up and uh, he mixed cough syrup with his mushrooms. And hallucinated the entire fire. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just some jackass that broke into his neighbor's house and stole their dog. It's fantastic. That's uh, a real story. It's one of my favorite that's headlines. That's fantastic. Uh, so this is going to be a low life. I mean, you don't have to be on Facebook to find that story. <laughs> that's true. Hey, let's go with uh, all social media users. How about that? No, that's no. worse than the guy Some who made the are, special needs kids eat his own shit. Being misguided isn't, doesn't make you a does, shit. Let me ask you this. Does your fiance use social media? Nope. Really? We're the two. We're the two. The two on We're the, the earth. Two. That's when I knew. <laughs> Perfect. How did yeah. you guys find each other then? Just like talking to <laughs> people normally? Jay. Yeah, she does comedy too. <laughs> okay. 
Well, you know, every so. girl's dream, just meeting another white guy at an open mic. You know? <laughs> well, that's what Cody's been doing for a while. Meeting, uh, meeting white guys at open mic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> every, every new week, Cody's like, I got this new guy, Matt. You're going to like him. <laughs> You're going to love him. Uh, his name's Mike. Hey. He's coming on the show. I said, hey, I said Mike's going to be hilarious, and he has been. Thank you for being on the show, Mike. No, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, Tiffany, you were wonderful as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, we, do we have the uh, well, well, me reading rap music? Well, yeah, yeah, we'll do that after I ask. Um, I'll send it to you, and in the meantime, you can talk okay. about uh, Japan. I want to hear more about you Why living in you Tokyo. In Why did you just thank me? I, thought well, we I just want to say thank you for being on the show. All right. Doesn't mean we're ending the show. Yeah, you okay. Did, you made it weird there, Cody. You made, you made it weird. Well, you, that's what post-production editing is for. Do you want me to for. translate the rap to Japanese? I'm just kidding. I can't <laughs> speak it. <laughs> no. Oh, Cody, I just sent you the lyrics, but you don't have to say the N-word. <laughs> I, I, know you, I know you separate your laundry. <laughs> I see a picture of me there. Oh, yeah. Th- that was all I could find of you. I found two yeah. things of you. I found your LinkedIn picture and then my this. My fiance is te- technically next to me at a wedding <clears throat> for oh, that picture. Yeah, you That's cropped my her LinkedIn out. Picture. Yeah. <laughs> she cropped herself out. Yeah, that was the only... Uh, that your LinkedIn and then that thing. That's all I found on yep. you. Yep. Nothing else. You want to read this real quick? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Cody reads, uh, old dirty bastard. Hey, I got you. Cody's like the whitest guy I know. So, uh, this Cody? Yeah, I know. It throws <laughs> you off. Mike, when you season a, a ribeye, what do you put on it? Salt and pepper. Anything else? Like, I mean, there's food in general. Do you use anything other than salt and pepper? Yeah, food in general. Steak, you don't need more than salt and pepper. Well, Cody just... See, steak was a bad example, Cody, because Cody just uses only yeah, salt and pepper Yeah, the ribeye, that's why it's a marbled fat is because it cooks and yeah, that's where it gets but a Cody barely puts any pepper on because it's too much flavor. Oh, <laughs> Like, he's Jesus. that white, yeah. <laughs> like, what's what's Dante say? You put uh what, what in your uh in your coleslaw apples in your coleslaw? I don't eat coleslaw, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coleslaw is <laughs> coleslaw is nasty. It looks nasty. I'm sure it tastes nasty. So Cody, uh, the lyrics from the first what? verse of Old Dirty Bastard. Hey, All right, here I we go. Money. You give me your number, I call you up. You act like your pussy. Don't interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. I don't have no problem with you fucking me, but I have a little problem with you not fucking me. Baby, you know I'm going to take care of you because you say you got my baby, and I know it ain't true. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Is it a good thing? No, it's bad, bitch. For good or worse, makes you switch. So I walk on over with my crystal. <laughs> Bitches. Crystal. crystal. Yep. Bitches, the N-word, put away your pistols. <laughs> Dirty won't be having it on his house because bitches... No, because, bitch, I'll cripple your style. Nope. Now now that you have my calm voice, you couldn't get another N-word. Hoochie won't get moist. <laughs> if you, you want to look so good, charisma, if you, if you want to look good and, and not be bummy, girl, you better give me that money. I-O. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, you are A-O. charismatic as shit right here, man. Oh, I knew I could maybe put a little more hip ne- to it. Next week, I'm going to do a 2 chain song. Do something like Eminem that I know, and I can no, no. put a little more gangster. I'm not going to have you, you, what, I'm gonna have you do a white ODB was rapper. taken from us too soon. Yeah. Yeah. ODB was... He was... Did you say give me Eminem something I know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. you suck. <laughs> we want Co- Cody to read hip-hop lyrics as a white guy, and he's like, yeah, give me that white rapper. Yeah. Eminem's <laughs> got a bunch of uh, Big Bang Theory references in his, uh, his stuff, so you'll love I that. I can do more TV references than movie references, but... Oh, Cody... <clears throat> That was that was excellent. Thank you for that. So tell us about your time in Tokyo. I never said um, Tokyo. What are you talking Japan? about? Japan? Yeah, I was. I no, was. Down. There's Okinawa. I was, there's I was stationed in Japan in Iwakuni, Japan. You were stationed. Were yeah. you in the military? Yeah, I'm an American hero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what branch were you in? All of them. <laughs> I was just missed, I was Captain America. <laughs> you were Captain. America. <laughs> I, I, I was in the Marines, so the best one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you for your service. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you don't mean that. You, you look so disingenuous. <laughs> <laughs> I, you hate the troops. That's what I heard. <laughs> That's, That's not true at all. Yeah. Sports troops more than anybody. Cody flies his flag upside down. Yeah, nah, you, I, I heard you. you boycott places that give military discounts. <laughs> That's what I heard. Let's not start bad rumors now. Uh, guys. Cody, oh, okay. come on. Everybody already believes everything Marshall says. Cody. Weren't you graffitiing the uh, VA hospital the other day? <laughs> I don't even know who the VA hospital is, so no. Cody only listens to the national anthem when he's kneeling. Yeah. Oh. He plays it backwards. Because <laughs> yeah. he's convinced that you can hear the devil when you do that. <laughs> oh. Well, this has been you, bad for me. Do you want to <laughs> rebut that? 
I, do you have any, any? Do you want to deny it? Yeah, yeah. There's no hundred percent. All of it. Yeah, he's just like, oh, deny, this makes me look bad, guys. Deny all of it. I am Whoa, the most American the person in this room right now. Support uh, the troops a ton. Yeah, a whole a whole ton. Uh, yeah, I was I did the Marine Corps for five years after high school. Okay, nice. That's and you were stationed in Tokyo. No, again, not Tokyo. He said where? Oh, right. Did he? Uh, Station. Oh, oh, I, and I've said no oh. to Tokyo twice now. <laughs> was it Oeiji? Uh, was that, was Iwakuni. that close? Iwakuni. 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 I, was, I was a lot closer in Tokyo. Iwakuni, Japan. D- is it? Uh, it's a beautiful little town. Uh, it's uh, an air base there. And, uh, yeah, I was stationed there. Did some time in San Diego, Hawaii as okay. an adult <clears throat> again. Went back to the homeland. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Is that what your was your was your father mother were in the military? What's that? Your father or my mother? My father was in the military. Was he a marine as well? Yeah. Okay. That's true. Or as Cody calls them, pussies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's what I heard he was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. even true. What did you say? You call this like the Paul Blart Mall Cops? <laughs> <of the world? laughs> oh, I'm I gonna was get like, wow. Hey, dude, I'm not here. Shout out to our new sponsor, the uh, U.S. Army Recruiting Station. <laughs> I'm not here next week. We know why. <laughs> Cody, you're gonna become an insurgent. Oh. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Cody trying to d- to join ISIS. <laughs> Not he true. They don't have enough Not stake true. In the Middle East. Yeah. I love America. That's what they all say, Cody. You loved America. That's what all the yeah. converts <laughs> say. Yeah. Wow, Cody. You- Coming from the Unabomber over here, <laughs> guys. Not on any social media. Just lives off the map, off the grid. Well, you don't hey, have to do with Unabomber mm-hmm. also still supported the troops. He's still military trained. See. Yeah. So another military man you're talking about about now? <laughs> Jesus wow, Christ. Wow, it sounds like someone that hates wow. the troops. <laughs> oh, wow, my dude. God. Hate you guys oh, so much. Oh, that being much. said, Cody, do you want to ask the eight ball something to yourself? <laughs> Mike, you got a question for the eight ball? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be hurtful. I know it is. Yeah, I feel like you said so Why should anybody... Uh, is social media a good idea? My sources say no. That uh-huh. is legit. Yeah. You, it's the same. You messed it up. No, I didn't. My sources say no. That oh, is okay. what it said. I was going to say he grabbed, grabbed it like his first boot. Yeah, he like, trying to make, make it easy. <laughs> he's like, this guy was a troop. Clearly, he's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Thanks for I love America show. enough for Cody and I, so <laughs> don't worry. Uh, okay. I don't even know. I'm, I'm just going to stop talking at this point because it's just getting worse. Thanks for coming on me and Mike's show today, <laughs> Cody. Uh, we appreciate you. Yeah, and hey, anytime you need me. Thank you guys for having me. This was a lot of fun. This was fun. Legitimately, uh, Cody's he's, he's a good guy. Where he's can we listen dude. to your 24 podcast? Uh, uh, places that play podcasts. Like Apple Podcasts? Uh, it's on Apple, Spotify, Spotify. Uh, I Stitcher. Up earlier. That's one of the big three. It's a bunch of different okay. ones. Google Perfect. Podcasts, Spotify. Yep, it's on Google. Apple Podcasts. Just Alexa. Play 24 This podcasts. says Apple, Spotify, and Google. Yeah, those are all cool ones. It's called, uh, it's 24. on a bunch of other ones, too. Yep. Yeah, if you listen to some random one, you're just being a hipster. Just probably. Google it. It's called yeah, uh, it. the You'll Last 24 it. Podcast, right? The Last 24 po- If you're a fan of 24 or if you're not. Check it out. we got some very funny comedians on there from Des Moines. Very That's funny commentary. True. So. Yeah, and thanks to our audience, uh, Tiff. You're great. Thanks for answering You're wonderful. It was nice to meet you. Uh, we will see you guys next week. Yeah. Yeah. Season yeah. one, uh, very big guest. No, season four. Episode so season one. four. <laughs> episode, season four, episode one. Correct. Yes. We will not have a military man on next week, so Cody's safe. Check out Ed Wilson on the news, though. That's yes. my, my, Mike's sense of, or source of information. So. <laughs> Bye, guys. You seem flustered at the end there, Cody. Oh, a little bit. <laughs>